see it. There is dust wherever work is done. How can you efficiently protect yourself against it? Even in supposedly clean environments, we come into contact with particles. What do you think? How many particles are in the air around here? Mr. Dusty will now tell us exactly how many there are, as he is a particle counter. He counts every particle of 0.5 micrometers and more in approximately 28 liters of ambient air per minute. Even in this empty, very clean room, there are over 65,000 particles flying around. Would you have expected this? However, if so many particles are already in supposedly clean air, how do things look at other workplaces outside? Not without reason is there a great number of regulations and laws on the use of breathing masks to protect people against fine dusts. When talking about fine dusts, we mean dust particles in the critical area of less than 5 micrometers. For example, a human hair is 200 times larger than a fine dust particle. Most critical substances are between 0.1 and 1 micrometer large. Therefore, our particle counter counts all particles with an optical size of 0.5 micrometers and more. Mr. Dusty now measures the particle load with different masks. Of course, all masks that are shown here correspond to the protective level FFP2 according to EN 149. Air is sucked in through the mask and only the particles let through are measured. The intake conditions are equal for all masks and you can see what happens. Mask A lets through a little more than 6,400 particles. Mask B, just over 26,400 particles. Mask C, almost 12,800 particles. Mask D, which is our model FM1000, only lets through 3,957 particles. These are about 38% particles less compared to the second best mask. Dramatic differences despite EN149. This is a pretty good argument. However, there is another feature for masks of that kind. Breathing resistance. The Quester is used to measure the breathing resistance. Fire departments use the Quester as a test device for masks and compressed air breathing apparatuses. Yet we only need the artificial lungs of the Quester for our purposes. The computer connected to it shows the breathing resistance in form of a graph. Here we test again four masks at once. The more the curve goes up, the stronger we have to breathe. The graph down on the right shows you the flattest curve and thus the lowest breathing resistance for the user. It does, of course, belong to the FM1000 mask. That means best result in the particle test and now the lowest breathing resistance on top of that. In addition to the numerous technical advantages, the FM1000 mask scores because of its unique comfort. The special interior fleece of the FM1000 mask is kind to the skin and hardly absorbs any moisture. Thanks to this fact, a good climate is guaranteed under the mask, even if it's worn over a long period of time. Another advantage are the elastic and extremely tear-proof head straps. They optimally fit for any form and size of head. When there is a break, the mask can simply be put off. Furthermore, every FM1000 mask is hygienically packed in a poly bag. As the FM1000 mask is flatly folded, it can easily be packed in every bag without disturbing the user and without being squashed. In a nutshell, the folded masks of worth offer you efficient and comfortable protection against solid and liquid particles, safety and comfort. FM1000, the new folded masks of worth.